This is the light I've been talking about. I just got my Spider Farmer 2000 in and I'm going to unbox it and we'll take a look at it and then I'll get it hung. Uh, right now I have plants here and they're under this cob and so we're going to take the cob down and put the Spider Farmer up and uh, yeah, real good. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this and then we will take the cob down, hang this up, plug it in, and see how she does. Fortunately, I lost some footage on my unboxing video, so I'm going to reshoot part of it. And what we're looking at here is the top side of the Spider Farmer 2000. What came in the box is a bunch of uh, light hangers and a cable that I'll talk about in a minute. There also is a owner's manual and you can see the spectrum and there is some specifications here. Uh, this particular light they say is good for uh, three by four feet for veg and two by four feet for flower. And I have it hanging over a two by four area and I can tell you it covers it very well. You probably will see uh, the uh, par readings I took. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, this box here, um, it has an off and an on. So lights are off, lights are on. It has a dimmer. And it has uh, these two ports here and what they're for is you can hook this up if say you have two of these lights you can hook them in tandem and then you can dim them all with just w one control not really an issue for most of us but it's kind of good to know it's there plants are doing fine lettuce is going crazy I want to show you the uh, light side so here is what it looks like with the light off And here is what it looks like with the light on. I don't know if this will show up or not. But I don't know why I lost that footage. Just for some reason my cam cr crapped out and I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So I'm putting it in now. And uh, I definitely give this light a thumbs up. Okay, so I've hung it up. I've plugged it in and this one as you can see has some red in it which helps flowering uh, it is 16 inches uh, from these plants and they're getting plenty of light don't forget the plants are going to get taller now I have a, a par meter here and so what we got right here on top of the pot 544 micromoles and I'm sure it's higher right at the top of the plant that is plenty okay so a quick look at this tomato plant it's just starting to get roots into the water and uh, everything looks pretty good this one here is actually 635 and that's because the LEDs are always brighter right in the center. The uh, tomato is on the end so uh, it gets a little bit less light. I may actually move the tomato over to where the cucumber is and put the cucumber on the end. But so what we have under this light uh, we have a tomato that started in deep water culture. We've got this cucumber here 
that's starting to grow true leaves and uh, got a pepper over here now the pepper took a little bit longer to sprout and then I've got a few extra cucumber plants here okay so you can see here uh, on this end we have a reading of uh, 549 now on the end it's 374 so in this lettuce which is not under the light we're about 200 which isn't bad all things considered to 211 uh, so this light has good good par and it's pretty even uh, all throughout the uh, the spread I have a lettuce plant in a quart mason jar and then this lettuce here uh, is really going to town uh, this is my modified cracky tub and so uh, it's getting more than enough light being on the side like that so I have to say uh, this light is doing just fine this is a 2x4 area and everything is getting a good amount of light I'm happy with the light and uh, for those of you at home if you need an LED uh, you know in my closets I have HLGs but this is about half the cost and it'll work way better for you better on your wallet anyway um, and so I would take a look at this I'll have a link in my article uh, to, over to Amazon and you might want this uh, like I said it's good for 2x4 or maybe you know 3x3 three three. you can go if you're just growing lettuce uh, you could probably double that area um, because lettuce only needs about half the light that tomatoes or peppers or cucumbers do so uh, but this here has been getting half the light it's just a different light but still the other one was 200 watts and that's about what this is and uh, the best thing about this is with all that in all those individual LEDs on here uh, the light is spread more even the cob you can see from looking at it it's a dot and there's a lot of individual LEDs that are put inside it so it works more like a spotlight and this is better I really um, so that's my unboxing and a quick review I'm happy with it the quality looks good um, dimmer works uh, all that good stuff it's a good unit it's not it, it's not real heavy weighs I'd say less than 10 pounds and uh, doesn't have a you know a tall profile like this one is pretty clunky uh, so it, you know it's a good unit um, I think I'm going to enjoy growing with it and that's it for now so take good care of yourselves happy gardening Keep it green. Alright, bye-bye.